Hi friends, in this video tutorial, I am going to talk about a very useful and handy tool called leak dialog, which will actually help me to detect memory leak in my application. It creates log file of snapshot of memory leaks and I can actually see it visually using LD Grapher tool. So both these tools you can easily download from Microsoft's website. I will paste those link so you can directly download using the, uh, by clicking those link so to illustrate memory leak i have created a very simple program where i am leaking memory at three different places sometimes 10 bytes some another time 5 bytes and then yet another time 2 bytes after that i am sleeping for a while because if you infinitely creating memory memory leak then you are actually eating very precious ram memory that may not even hung your application but also hung your program uh, whole computer your pc will get hung that's why it is essential to put sleep here in real world you will not find this type of code because memory leak is not that easily producible but we are creating a uh, very artificial program to create memory leak that's why i need to use sleep here secondly you need to also include windows.h because Sleep will not work without using Windows dot H. Right now, I am building my application, and I will start this application in command prompt. I need to use double quote, otherwise it will take space as a delimiter, and my whole path will not taken into consideration. Now I have started this application. Now I go to leak dialog and see here there are lot of applications are running. If I don't see my application I need to refresh it and if I go into searching for my application I can see here memory leak.exe. There can be different allocators of memory. Maybe it can be virtual memory allocator or a heap memory allocator even com if you are creating a com object uh, then that is a different allocator. So here, here I am choosing Windows heap allocator because you can see I have used new there. So in uh, new creates memory in heap. That's why I have chosen Windows heap allocator and I am saying start here. Now I am taking log here snapshot of current state of my memory. After few seconds again I take log so that uh, I can see if in this period of time the, uh, any memory leak happened or not. Uh, in real world application that time may be after half an hour you need to check or maybe after two hours you need to check that uh, or you need to take the log because uh, it may not be that evident uh, or within five to seven seconds you will not get a memory leak uh, like this uh, because again we have created very artificial environment and I am again taking log. Whenever I take log, snapshot of uh, memory is getting created in form of XML file. Those XML file we will examine using LD Grapher tool. I last time take again log and I will stop here. Now if I go here in options, I can see there is a log location. I am copying this log location here and you can see four different log files have been created because I have pressed log button four times. If I go into these XML files, they are really daunting because they are big XML files, but we need not to worry because we are not actually going to read this XML file by our own. We need to use a tool called LD Grapher. In that LD Grapher tool, I go and open all these four files. Now you can very clearly see here there are three different places I can see memory leak. At very first time I am actually leaking 10 bytes of memory that's why this first line is growing really fast. Second line I am creating uh, I am leaking only 5 bytes so it is a little bit uh, slower and third time we are just leaking 2 bytes that's why it is yet slow to grow so here we can very easily say that our program is leaking memory 
and these addresses are not addresses of the location where memory leak is happening but these are the addresses of the code which is actually causing memory leak so this thing you need to keep in mind if i double click over here it will clearly say that malloc here is actually causing memory leak which is called from new you can see we have called new so which in turns called malloc operator which is called inside main so it will help us a lot because it is actually saying that main function is causing memory leak we have called new from main uh, main and that is causing memory leak for us so i hope you like this video and it may be useful for you thank you very much for your patient listening if you have any suggestions or comments please write into comment box so i can improve uh, better next time thank you very much